Hello and welcome to Desert Wood Days. I am your host, Kathy Blaze, and I am here with Mr. Stephen Kesson, screenwriter, actor. Hey, how's it going today? Good, how are you? Good, good. It's a pleasure having you here. It's a pleasure to be here. You are the first talk show I've done. Awesome. The first, and it's going to be the best also. <laughs> Stephen, I was reading over your bio, and I see that you have a production company, Shelly Production Company, written by Shelly Production. Where'd that name come from? So, written for Shelly Productions, uh, the genesis of the idea came about, I want to say, seven to eight years ago, when uh, all the projects that I was working on had a Shelly in the cast. Mm -hmm. And Shelly Ulrich suggested, rather in jest probably, you should just call a production company written for Shelly Productions. Because it's either me, being Shelly Orch, or Shelly Boucher are in your films. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't really want like my initials, because my initials form the word SAC. And I figured like SAC Productions just works too well for people who don't like the stuff that I create. And I looked at how other people come up with their names and unfortunately i discovered one where this guy took his father's name and his mother's name and combined them and i was really inspired by that idea as well for mm -hmm. influence and unfortunately that company is miramax and the producer's name is harvey weinstein <laughs> you may have heard of him yes yeah. so <laughs> when people say where did you get that idea from it's more like Eh, college and a producer we don't talk about. Oh, okay. So what inspired you to get into acting? Uh, acting, first it was always just I wanted to be involved in film. Uh, acting was fun just because to create and to get out of your head and to be somebody else I thought was fun. And then in college, I uh, shifted my focus to writing. And a lot of my college professors were really supportive and said, you know, you did acting when you were in high school, uh -huh. have you thought about writing? And I was like, oh, give it a shot. Let's hmm. we'll see. And that's where the Arizona community has kind of uh, agreed that I'm best at. Do you still enjoy acting? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I show up here and there in little things. Um, Moving Ashley, obviously, was um, like my first substantial lead role in a long time. But I like more of the character route. Oh, okay. Like, I like being the best friend of the main character. Oh, like okay. Okay. So, speaking of that, you know I kissed you once on a cheek in a production. Yes, triggered. Yes, you you were blushing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. It wasn't scripted. It sure there wasn't. There was a camera this far away from our face. Right. That was a terrible angle for that camera. There was a camera this far away from our face. That was, that was fun. But what I'm getting to, you've been a big guy, and the industry is really slacking on... Well, we'll see more big guys than we will curvy females, hmm. full-figured females in film. Do you find yourself writing more for yourself? No. I usually, like, uh, when I wrote Moving Ashley, yes, that was based off of stuff that I had went through, but I never wrote it with, I'm going to play this character. I never write it with the intention that I'm going to play this character. Mm -hmm. I write it for... Um, people to direct and if they want me in the film I'll do it if not it's no hard feelings I can just help produce on that. so what would you um, what would you label your your writing style um, probably minimalist I like a uh, uh, few locations few actors uh, real quick budgets I don't have explosions things like that it's really another terrible person really Woody Allen-esque okay. and he was an influence of mine I, I like his scripts I like Aaron Sorkin's scripts as well so Stephen you're an award-winning filmmaker how'd that come about well uh, Moving Ashley was completed and I looked at it and it was probably the best film that I had been a part of in a substantial role 
I had done good films, but it, I was in a smaller role, usually an extra or whatnot. And I was like, well, let's submit this and see where it goes. And I looked at one of the festivals, which was the Vegas Movie Awards, mm -hmm. submitted it, and we got a notification saying, you're nominated for several awards. It was picture, actress, my script, and Liza and Mackenzie Jones for their supporting roles. Wow. And we jokingly referred to that as the Bye uh, Bye Christina Awards because we all won except for Christina. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we were nominated for five things we won for. Oh, you're so. all winners. Oh, so you brought us a trailer to watch today, correct? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at this trailer. Look, I want you out by tonight. I'm trying. I'm going as fast as I can. No one is helping. Well, I have a suggestion. What? There's David. But he's just weird, and not in a creepy stalker way, just weird. I know that as a man, I'm a work in progress. I'm a human being with thoughts and emotions, and I will not be criticized for having either. I think you need to chill out, man. If you want to go, I totally understand. I don't need a manager in my life, Ashley. I am queen of the panties. I demand everyone look at me. Do you value anything? I love the name. Where did the name come from? I did not feel like thinking. So I, writ I wrote the script, and I was working on a prior production that just didn't go well for a spectacularly stupid amount of reasons. So I had to save what little money I had left from the production that didn't go. And I was like, what's, what's a small story that I could tell? And a lot of my friends were moving. I was like, okay, well, how about a guy who helps his coworker move? And then I realized that sounds like a really dry concept. And I'm like, well, we can make it interesting. We'll have like an almost Napoleon Dynamite like character be the one to help. And I'm like, okay, let's kind of reverse engineer this as to why, what, like, what story we could tell uh -huh. with it. And I had a coworker whose name was Ashley. I was like, I'll name this character after you. And then I was like, well, we're moving, Ashley. All right, and then nothing else. You know, it just about, fit. Yeah. It just fit. You have some really interesting um, characters, some local actors that are, are well-known. Mm -hmm. And um, they look like they did an amazing job. Absolutely. Yeah. So which one? Liza, for example. Yeah. Which award did he win? I heard that he won an award as well. He won Supporting Actor for... Uh, the Vegas Movie Awards, where okay. I won um, the screenplay oh. for it as well. So, and Mackenzie won supporting actress. So, uh, Melissa, me, uh, Mackenzie Jones, Liza, we all have various awards from different festivals. Okay. So, so Stephen, where do you see Shelley Productions and Stephen Casson in five years? Ooh. Uh, honestly, I love what I'm doing now on it. So I wouldn't mind staying where I'm at, writing scripts, creating actor, uh, creating directors, creating other producers on it. Um, I don't see the move to California, okay. at least not right now. So because you're just you're just enjoying what you're doing right yeah. now currently. Yeah, I. This is the furthest I've gone with the awards and the accolades mm -hmm. for moving. Actually, it's like okay, I don't want to desire more. I kind of want to just take in my success from this. And enjoy it. And what you're doing is helping out others, giving mm -hmm. actors a chance to perform their craft. Yeah. <clears throat> that is awesome. So where can our audience find you? Um, well, my website is written for Shelly .com, okay. and I'm Stephen Casson on Facebook. Oh. So reach oh. out. And where can they find your movie? Um, right now, we don't have it up anywhere because we're still doing the festival route. Oh, okay. It actually uh, premieres today at the Phoenix Film Festival. So I'm going to go from here to that theater, do a Q&A, and then hopefully by September it will be on Prime. Awesome, okay. awesome. Thank you for joining us today. It was such a pleasure seeing you again. It's been such a while. Yeah.
And I look forward to seeing what else you bring for us. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. And we will see you next time.